When you're only 11, it can be very difficult to understand time. And we're talking about something that happened 150, well, 1,500 years ago, which is, I'm sure you get lost in the numbers there, don't you? How can you think about something 1,500 years ago when you're only 11? So to try to give you um, an understanding of the scale of time, we'll have a look at this, shall we? I want you to imagine that this segment of toilet roll is te represents 10 years. Right? 10 years. So if you're 11, that's really, it represents your lifetime, doesn't it? That there is 10 years. So you're just a little bit over that. Now, the next oldest person in the room is Mr. Johnson. Just have a look at Mr. Johnson. Yeah. How old do you think Mr. Johnson is? The guess. I'm with Adam. 60. 60. <laughs> Good guess, Adam. Good guess. Anybody go a little bit younger than that? 30. 30. That's a bit closer. 32. Right. He's actually in his, in his mid-20s, but he's had a hard life. <laughs> All right. So if we put Mr. Johnson's up there, um, we'll put that, that's just a bit younger than that. So that's 10, 20, that's actually 30 years. Mr. Johnson comes in a little bit under that. So he's about 25. Am I right, Mr. Johnson? About Correct, 20. yeah. So that would represent Mr. Johnson's time on Earth, if you like. Now, this is a very difficult question here. I want to be very careful when you answer this one. How old do you think I am? I'm not asking you, Adam, because I didn't like your last answer. Oh. I'll ask someone who I think is very... I'll actually give you a good answer. Riley. 42. You'll do for me, Riley. You'll do for me. I'm actually <laughs> slightly... I'll put it over here. I'm actually slightly over 50. So, if we look at it that way and we see the toilet roll represents our ages, that's you, that's Mr Johnson, that's me. Representing the top, we'll go around the room and we'll open it up to 150 years. Just come out, please, good lad. So we've got to hold this very carefully now. So one little, good boy, just stand here and hold it. So one little segment of the toilet roll represents 10 years. So if we go 10, scoop, select all that, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Would you hold that there and just hold that for us as well? And I'll just show you this. Because well, we want to look at something that happened 1,500 years ago. So that is 100 years. How many years did we say? What do we call 100 years? Beginning with C. Century. century. Right, so we need to go back how many centuries? 15. 15, good man. So that's one century. Do you want to hold that? That's two. You've only been alive for that long. Right? That's the length of your life. Yet yeah, we are looking at something that happened all these lifetimes ago. So if we just go around the room, that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000 years ago. And another 500 years on top of that. So you can see in the terms of the time that you've actually been on Earth, it's nothing, is it? You've been here for hardly any time at all. And all those people have lived and died over those years, over those 100, 1,500 years. There have been so many generations of people who have lived and died. So that's why it makes it so difficult for us to find out what life is like. All right, thank you.